Hey, good evening. It is coming up to 545 on the 23rd of June, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. We've got severe storms increasing across portions of the Texas Panhandle, especially the Southern Panhandle into West Texas, including a severe storm about to bring hail and damaging winds to the city of Lubbock. We also have storms increasing in coverage and intensity across portions of the Concho Valley, the southwestern big country, and the southwest Texas. And we've still got a cluster of strong to severe storms moving south, southeast, across eastern north Texas. We'll go from west to east. Again, severe thunderstorm now riding up Highway 60 towards Canyon, up towards the city of Amarillo. That could have quarter-sized hail at least, localized winds of 60 miles an hour, heavy rain. Severe storm near and just southwest of the city of Dimmit has been showing indications of producing tennis ball to baseball size hail. That storm is generally moving more east towards Nazareth, Hart, and eventually could impact Tulia on Interstate 27. Further south, we have a storm moving towards Plainview from Littlefield. And then we have a supercell developing near Smear, moving towards the city of Lubbock. That could have damaging hail and very strong winds in Lubbock by 6 p.m. Further south, a cluster of storms from Sterling City back to near Big Lake in Iran, moving to the northeast. Some hail, localized damaging winds, and heavy rainfall with those storms. And finally, we have a cluster of storms across portions of eastern North Texas now exiting the Metroplex to the east. Strongest storms, one approaching Terrell, one approaching Palestine. Both storms producing damaging straight line winds. Maybe some quarter size hail, very heavy rain, and cloud to ground lightning. You can keep an eye on all these storms through the evening hours with a free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app, interactive weather radars, your local weather forecasts, storm chasing videos, and live severe weather coverage. Storms in the Panhandle, West Texas, going to likely continue moving east this evening, forming a cluster of storms with damaging winds that could impact. West Central and Northwest Texas through the evening hours.